recently I stumbled upon a interesting download on Microsoft.com. It's called Virtual PC. Download the Virtual PC 2007. XP users do not download this. It did not work for me very well at all. This Virtual PC version 2004 works amazingly better. So all I have to do is add a new virtual machine, follow the simple directions, create it, pop in the bootable CD disk for your operating system you want, Windows 95, 98, 2000, Linux, which I'm going to show you right here. And you can boot it within Windows. All I have to do is click start, and I'll begin the booting process. You can also assign it different values for RAM and other, give it access to certain components on your computer, deny access, stuff like that. And I have to insert the bootable disk in a second. Alright, that's uh, loading, loading the graphical user interface right now. Preparing to anyway. There we go. Initializing the system services. Desktop's loading now. Should be just about done. Alright, just, just about. There we go. It's got the icons loaded. Taskbar and the menu. the desktop basically completely booted and loaded up. Notice the icons are fairly fancy looking for a small operating system such as this Slax Linux. Anyway, there's many different sections. with a few games, but there's people that just can't live without games. Picture viewer, screen capture program, web browsers, all that stuff built into it. And Messenger, you can use MSN. Your office programs, multimedia, system configurated units, let's see.
Got some developer tools in here too. We have the Slack's Linux Control Center. Just fairly, fairly similar to a few other versions of Linux. But Settings for looks, okay, theme manager, which allows you to manage your themes, window decorations, which can be kind of interesting once you nap figure out how to navigate through all this. For those people who enjoy just enjoy changing the look to their specific specifications. Change your Splash screen, your screensaver, icons, everything's customizable. Alright, you have multiple desktops so you can open up applications and have Say you are doing your internet and messaging tasks here, get your YouTube and stuff open. And over here you've got your business and work stuff open. That way everything appears on one desktop. See, I could drag this around, you see it show up down here. You can drag it over into there. Let's try that. Should be able to. There we go. So now in this window, got all this stuff all on the same desktop. You can have up to about 20. The browser Conqueror also serves as a the My Computer or a Windows Explorer type program. Conquer your desktop. So you've got trash, storage media, Personal files, network folders, applications, and settings all in this one program. And you can add little applications to here just like Windows. Click start up buttons. Change the size of everything. Very customizable, very fast operating system if it's installed, not ran off of a virtual PC. console. This is your MS DOS type of thing where you can run from the command line. This just click close and turn off. Now Turn off your virtual PC. 